So the next portion of this um, series about lesson plan building and how you build lesson plans with the muddiest point is how do you know which strategies will work best or how do you know which strategies to use? Well, strategies are very specific to the type of learning objective in some cases that you're using. So numbered heads together, in my opinion, can be used with high level, low level, because it's a question or a problem you're putting out there and you're having the students work on them individually and then together. So that really can go across whatever lesson you may have that you wanna use cooperative learning. Um, other strategies are really specific to the type of learning objective that you have. So for example, affinity mapping is really more for your high level learning where you're trying to find patterns among topics and connections among topics. Um, jigsaw, same thing. It's, it's a strategy that's best used when you need to learn a new concept and multiple facets of the concept. Um, sorry for the dog bark. Um, so you're, you're taking various aspects of one particular concept, they're learning it separately and then they're putting it back together. Same thing with gallery, lock, gallery walk. That's more of a strategy that's used for, um, you've got multiple aspects of a single topic or multiple topics. And so you're allowing the student to learn about that topic and then share that topic out. So how do you know what strategies to use? Well, you really have to know the strategies before you know which ones to use. So again, some strategies are better suited for certain learning objectives based on the learning objective itself. So if you have a topic that is higher level or more in depth or more broad, then certain strategies work better for that. And so um, if you haven't done so already, I would encourage you to look at some of the strategies beyond what we've just done in class to see, okay, well, what is, how does the strategy work? And what's the purpose of the strategy? Meaning like, is it further research? Is it teaching something else? Is it just pulling some ideas together? And that way you can better pick the strategy. So to answer that question, you really have to be well versed in different strategies to know which one will be best suited because they some of them are better suited for different things. Um, as we've discussed in class, for example, converse stations, you have to be really careful with your topic because you need to be able to have a, like a meaty enough topic and good enough discussion questions where they have something to discuss that wouldn't be better suited for, let's say, who's the main character of the story? Well, that conversation is going to take two seconds versus what do you think the main idea of the story and why um, that discussion question is better suited for something like that than just a factual response. So again, it, it, it kind of depends on your learning objective and it kind of also depends on what you're going to have the students do um, to either master that skill or just have conversation about that topic. Um, so maybe that doesn't really answer your question directly, but it, you have to think about the purpose and the lesson design of your lesson to know what strategy works best.